what's going on YouTube Lost Gamer 8519 it's uh, June 1st Saturday morning right now I'm about to go get me some gas for my car and uh, start this hunt um, I wasn't able to go game hunting last week because I was um, on vacation I went to the beach for Memorial weekend and uh, so I, I missed out on last last week's finds and uh, opportunity to go look for games and stuff like that so hopefully this weekend or well, today I'll find some good stuff. Um, the weather's good outside right now, and uh, hopefully the flea markets are are filled, and there's a lot of good stuff I can find. So stay tuned until then. Hopefully I can grab some footage on that too. All right, pulling up to the first flea market. Um, the last time I was here, I didn't do too well. There wasn't anything in here, but um, maybe this week will be different since it's two weeks ahead now. Parking's crazy right now. There's more people here than there was last time, though, I tell you that. Usually parking is not this, uh, hat. How much are your games? Like your, uh, PlayStation games? I don't let $50. $50? Yeah. That's $50. It's got two systems with all that game. Okay. That's $60. Okay. This here got a bunch of games in the back. $60 in here. Oh, okay. All them PlayStation 2. $50. Get a case in the house. Okay. Missing the video cord too. All right, I appreciate it. All right, guys, I just left the first flea market. I'm on the road. I'm um, on the way to the second flea market, but I make, might make a detour to this Goodwill that's coming up right here. Um, the flea market was looking pretty good. There was a lot of people selling video games, uh, mostly PS2 stuff and like some Xbox stuff, but most of them were like in bad shape or missing a manual or a disc or really scratched up. I only picked up two things, um, a Game Boy Advance and uh, a copy of Rogue Galaxy, which I already have. I'm probably going to flip that and uh, see what I can get out of that and, you know, buy some other games with it, with whatever I flipped it for. Um, the Game Boy Advance itself was not in good shape. It was very dirty, but um, and it was missing the battery cover. Which is okay, I only paid five bucks for it, so I didn't expect, you know, everything to be perfect. I'll clean it up whenever I get the chance. Just left the second flea market. Um, nothing too nothing too spectacular there. You know, it's just a bunch of um, games that I did see there were, like, really bad shape and incomplete games. Um, that's why I didn't get any footage there. Uh, I didn't see any anything too great that, you know, should have been, or decent enough to be, you know, to break out my phone and start filming. Um, it is pretty awkward when you know you're walking around with with your phone out and you're trying to talk or you're trying to look at their games and you're holding your phone out and trying to film at the same time. So um, I try my best to do those whenever I can. But um, at that second flea market, I only got one thing. It was a Game Boy Advance. Where did I put it? Oh, it's in my lap. There you go. White Game Boy Advance very dirty it came with a little uh it came with a extension grip for it uh so, you know you can plug it up and the speakers on the uh, grip can play and i guess this to be more comfortable in the hands but um he only sold it for four bucks which is uh i thought it was a good deal i was gonna um offer him five but uh he took he said four so i you know i paid him four comes with the battery cover it's just it looks like it's just dirty and compared to the last um the other game boy Advance that i bought from the first flea market uh this one looks like in a lot better shape compared to the screen that like the screen on this one is not as scratched as the first one so hit the first sale you guys can see that four exclusive gamecube titles not too bad Let's see what else they got <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Another reseller. Hey, what's up, guys? I just left the last flea market, um, the reseller land, and uh, I am surprised to say that I scored pretty good uh, this time around going to that flea market. I got very lucky. I came across a guy that was uh, getting getting rid of his uh, video game collection. Um, he he was a pretty pretty cool guy. I was standing there talking to him, talking to him for a while, and a uh, reseller came up and. Uh, came up to us while we were talking and he was like trying to negotiate stuff and about his Game Boy lot that he had on the table and uh, luckily I beat him there and uh, I got I got some really great games for the GameCube that I don't have and I'm very excited to get which I'll show you guys later and I'll tell you the full story behind that later in the video when I show you what I got um, I'm, j I'm just leaving this retro gaming store right here uh, it's one of them retro stores that it's been here for quite some time, but you know they really don't get a lot of business, and they kind of turned into like a Magic the Gathering type of uh, store to play at. Like they do a lot of Magic card tournaments and stuff like that. But they do have they do sell video games in there. Um, when I usually go in there, it's tremendously overpriced, and uh, it doesn't seem like anything has changed. I mean, I think price went down a little bit. Um, my retro store that I always go to, um, they they always price their games very reasonable, and I always go there. But I don't know why I decided to, to stop at this one. But um, good thing I did. I found one game that I've been looking for some for a while now. It's Stake Fortune Fighters, uh, two ninety nine complete. All right, guys. I just left Gamers Alley. Um, usually, I don't shop or buy things at Gamers Alley unless there's a sale. Like, if there's a buy two get one free sale, or a, you know, some kind of promotion. They didn't have any this weekend. I just went and uh, browsed around. You know, it's the last spot I'm gonna hit. That's gonna be the last stop for my pickups today. But um, I picked up two two games from there: uh, Bruce Lee, Quest of the Dragon, and. Uh, See if I can say this Kakuto Chojin Back Alley Brutal. Yeah, two games I didn't have for my uh, Xbox collection. And um, I don't see those that often, so I picked those up. I had like $10 total for for both, so not too bad. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. That concludes my hunt for this Saturday. Uh, I did pretty good, in my opinion. Found some good stuff, and uh, stay tuned and check out what I got. Alright guys, time to show you what I got from that weekend. Um, some decent stuff. Got a nice little haul here. Plus some games I got on eBay and uh, some other stuff. So let me go ahead and get into that. First thing I got off of eBay is um, these plastic sleeves or protector cases. It comes with this, like, you know, pad of stickers to close them shut. Um, I've been meaning to get these for a while. Uh, for my sealed games to keep them protected because um, you know they've been sitting on the shelf collecting dust and you know I don't want them to get any damage to them but here's some games that um, I have in sleeves right now like Final Fantasy 13 still sealed got the plastic case on it uh, Jade Empire Forza and these I bought mainly I bought them for these games right here uh, Super Mario Brothers Wii 
sealed, Super Smash Brothers Brawl still sealed, and Resident Evil Zero still sealed for the GameCube. So um, I finally, oh, oh and uh, Crisis Core 7. So uh, yeah, I mainly got it for the for these games. I've been been meaning to buy these protective uh, cases for them for a, a while now, but you know I just keep putting it off. So now I finally uh, got a chance to getting them and having them in the cases and they are protected now on the show. So yeah, I paid twelve dollars for that uh, pack of twelve. Came in twelve uh, sleeves and I still have a few more left to use. Uh, moving on, I uh, went to Target and I found this on clearance. Uh, four gigabyte memory card for the PS Vita. It's only uh, five ninety eight, which is um, a pretty good deal. I have the four gig memory card already, but you know, no such thing of having, of having too much memory, right? So I got another one just in case I needed it. Okay. On to the flea market stuff. Um, I found two Game Boy Advances, both from different uh, flea markets. Uh, one is working, and one isn't working. And um, the working one is the purple one. It's still kind of dirty, I still haven't cleaned it all the way yet. And the non-working one is the white one, which has the battery cover in it. This one's missing the battery cover, but it's working. Uh, I got this one for five dollars. It came with two games, and this one came with uh, nothing. It was like four dollars. But he didn't know if it worked. I took a chance on it, and I lost. So um, by the time you guys see this video, I'm going to flip these Game Boy Advance, uh, both of these Game Boy Advance uh, systems. Hopefully, make my money back and more, and uh, it'll go into something that you know, something else I want for my collection. So. Yeah, so by the time you see this video, these will be gone. Plus the games that I'm going to throw in with it, which I'm about to show you right now. Uh, first is um, Altered Beast. This game has some label damage, as you can tell. Uh, that came with the purple one. Um, this one has no label on it. It's some Yu-Gi-Oh game. And this last one, I didn't get with either of those, but... Uh, I got this. I got this from another seller at the uh, flea market, which I have a story about. You know him later, but I'll tell you. And that's a uh, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. You focus. There you go. Um, I've decided ultimately that I'm not going to really collect for Game Boy Advance. Um, like you know, just if I find them in the wild, unless they're like you know games that are at least decent, uh, like Pokemon or. Mario games but uh, the reason why I'm selling this Mario game is so I can like you know get these out of the way I really don't want these right now at this point in time and hopefully I can flip them and you know get the money I can get from that and use it on something else okay uh, next at the flea market I found a PS2 copy of Rogue Galaxy I already have this game in my collection but it was only two bucks I couldn't leave it behind. Uh, the disc itself is kind of, it's pretty scratched, I think. But they're all like light scratches. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. I bought it, but I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. Um, it's, I'm going to hold it, I guess, for now. Uh, I guess if anybody's interested in it, you know, let me know. We can do a trade. Because I already have a copy of it. Um, at the retro store, I stopped by my favorite one and the one that I don't go to no more. I forgot the name of it uh, right now. I can't pronounce it off the top of my head. But uh, um, if you guys remember in the footage I showed earlier, you can look back and see what the name is. But I got a steak, Fortune Fighters, uh, from that store. I've been looking for this game for uh, quite, a, quite a while. It's kind of like uh, Power Stone in a way. From what I remember, I haven't played this game since I was a little kid, but I, I still have memories of this game. My friend had this game, so very lucky to have it back. I rarely see this game; it's pretty uncommon in my area. <clears throat> Next is uh, Kakuto Chojin Back Alley Brutal. I believe I said that right. Um, a fighting game for the Xbox, exclusive title. Looks like uh, reminiscent of. 
dead or alive, but it looks pretty cool. I love fighting games. Uh, I paid, um, oh yeah, I paid like four or five for that, I think. And this one I paid six. I don't know, my memory is gone right now and I can't think. <laughs> um, and another game I got was Bruce Lee Quest of the Dragon. That was from um, my favorite retro store. I heard this game was not the best game, but from what I played back in the day, a lot of people don't like it, but I like it. It's decent to me. I never completed this game. So, finally, good to have it back, and I'm going to try to beat it, and I'm a fan of Bruce Lee. Keeping on with the Xbox right now, I bought a uh, Xbox games a lot on eBay. Uh, it was a lot of uh, 14 games, and um, I paid thirty dollars total shipped and out of that 14 I only kept nine um, the other five games um, I'm have it with a bunch of extra games that I don't need and uh, extra games that I have doubles of that, I'm, that I put up on eBay to try to sell as a lot flip and hopefully make some of my money back and I could use that money to you know invest in more gaming stuff so to the games that I did keep out of that lot First is Crimson Sea by Koei, exclusive title. Um, I've never heard of this game before, but it looks quite fun from what I can see. I haven't looked at any gameplay or anything like that, so looking forward to playing that. Another exclusive title, Phantom Dust. I played this game for maybe five minutes when I had it uh, a long time ago, about a year or two ago. But I had the disc only copy. Um, I already went and sold that off. And um, I, now I have the complete copy, so I'm very happy to have that. Uh, Robotech Invasion. Now, me personally, I'm not a big fan of these uh, Armored Core like robot games. I tried playing them before, but I just cannot get into them. So. I don't know. I mean, maybe I'll give him another shot, like this one, uh, Phantom Crash. Another one of them, you know, armored vehicle games. I just can't get into. I haven't played this one yet, so I don't know. Maybe it'll spark something new. Uh, Urban Chaos, very fun game right here. I would say it's like a it's a first person shooter, but it has like other elements to it that I thought was pretty cool. Um, definitely recommend this title if you haven't played it. Siberia. Looks looks pretty generic, but I've never played it, so. And I don't have it. Here's another one. Gunmetal. Another one of them Robo games. It's complete. Uh, Deuce X Invisible War. Now, I don't know if this ties into the new one in any way, shape, or form, but um, I didn't have it. And, uh, you know, it looks pretty cool. Maybe I should play this game first before I uh, start the new one on 360. And uh, the top reason why I went for this lot was uh, Dino Crisis 3. It's complete. This is in good shape, and uh, it's funny that uh, I was on Mr. Dude's video, Mr. Dude 206 uh, video, and um, he made a comment that uh, he was looking for this game, and I just happened to come across it. So, uh, shout outs to him, though, Mr. Dude 206. Just a quick one. Um, found this at the Goodwill, which I'm very surprised to find. The Goodwill that I uh, found this from rarely, rarely has any games. And when it does, it's like sports games and stuff like that. But I was going through the CDs, you know, and I came across this, which I didn't expect to find at all. It's uh, King of Fighters Evolution for the Dreamcast. It is complete. The disc is in uh, excellent shape. It's just dust on the back. And, um... For $1.99, this was a complete steal. King of Fighters, I'm a big fan of King of Fighters. Um, a very underrated series, in my opinion. Um, you know, a lot of people overlook it because of Street Fighter. And, uh, I mean, there's a lot of good characters, a lot of good fighting. 
uh, fighting games out there, but I think, you know, if you guys haven't played the King of Fire series, give it a try. Very good series, and I'm very happy to have this on the Dreamcast. I always look to expand my Dreamcast collection and uh, getting these uncommon ones or finding them in the wild, especially, is rare for me, so I'm very happy, from, I'm very happy about that. Okay, last pickups is from um, Flea Market. Uh, it's the same guy that I got the uh, Mario and Luigi from. Um, he uh, made me a deal, uh, five games for 20 bucks. He was selling them for about, uh, I think like five or six bucks a piece. And um, the story behind this was, I mean, he's a pretty cool dude. Uh, he told me he was selling his games from uh, his personal collection that he had at home. Um, so he definitely wasn't a reseller. He even told me he, was a, he wasn't a reseller. And um, I was over there, you know, just going through his games, and he had a bag, or like, you know, a Game Boy bag of his games, and a Game Boy Color, and, you know, I was going through his games, had a lot of good titles, and I was pretty interested in buying, you know, all of them as a lot. And I was just about to ask him how much, you know, would he take for the entire lot. And before I could even get it out of my mouth, this guy just comes over my shoulder, and, like, you know, just nudges me, and, you know, asks before I could. So, you know, I I was upset at the moment. I mean, I didn't look at the guy, but you know, I moved over and I turned around to see who it was, and um, I recognized his face because I've seen him at the flea market before, and he's one of those resellers that I know that uh, has a table at the damn flea market. So, I guess he was out scouting other people's tables, trying to get uh, games on the cheap, buy them, and then take take the games back to his table and sell them for retail prices because you know that's how they roll around here the resellers so while he was doing that you know i i didn't you, i didn't want to um fight him for the game boy games i mean i was interested but i didn't want it that bad so when he nudged me over it kind of put me in a position where i was looking at another set of games to the left it was a bunch of game boy games not game boy games but gamecube games was, he had like 12 games and um, while he was negotiating with the with the seller, um, I saw some games in his GameCube, you know, bundle that I wanted, and I knew he probably wouldn't want it. So I turned my back to try to cover up what you know what GameCube games he had, so I can get them first. So long story short, I beat the reseller by a minute or two. He was distracted, and I grabbed these Game Boy uh, GameCube games. For the cheap and uh, great titles, very happy to have them. So, first off is Tube Slider. This is not one of the better titles, but I needed something to throw in there to make my deal complete. Um, so, you know, I took the games. It was five for twenty bucks. Paid them the money, put the games in my bag, and I left really, really fast. Tube Slider. the first one next one is Geist another exclusive title very happy to have this complete another one I'm very happy to have is I don't know if I pronounced that right is Batten or was that Baton Kaitos Eternal Wings and the Lost Ocean this one was pretty dusty but it was in good shape um, both disc, manual, complete, great shape, awesome, cleaned it up, perfect. Now, the title that I, that made me turn my back to that reseller to cover up what I saw was this, Fire Emblem, Path of Radiance. Now, unfortunately, this game does not come with the manual, but the disc itself is in amazing shape. No scratches, no, no fingerprints, nothing. And um, before, you know, he even showed up to that table, you know, he, the seller and I was talking, chit-chatting a little bit, you know, he was telling me that, uh, you know, about his game collection and why he was getting rid of his games and stuff like that. And he was telling me, you know, he was trying to sell, them, sell these games at decent prices to, to, you know, to other gamers. So that's why he cut me a deal, because I told him that I'm a collector. I play a lot of video games and you know he was happy to give me a great deal in this game because it was going into my collection now. 
So yeah, what I got from him was these five games for 20 bucks. And very happy to have these two for my GameCube collection. Um, I rarely collect and buy games for the GameCube unless they're exclusive and unless I really, really want to play them. So, that is it guys. I'm sorry that this video came out to be tremendously long, but you know, I got some decent stuff, some stories to tell, and some footage to show. So I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Um, let me know how I did in the comments below. Of course, I'd love to hear everybody's opinions. And it's Lost Gamer 8519, and I'm going to sign off until my next video. Peace, YouTube.